hate what this little piece is doing right here. What are you doing here? Come on. Work with me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a tutorial on this very fresh, very soft, very dewy spring look. Very pink. I've got the flower crown on. I'm actually, I think this is the first video where I'm not wearing like all black in I don't even know how long but I just felt I felt very inspired by like cherry blossoms and spring even though like we kind of jumped straight to summer which I'm still very salty about that like I really wanted spring so this is a full face tutorial I show you which foundation that I use the concealer the powders that I use and I do the full tutorial up until my eyes which if you can see I did do just a little bit of like detail work not really detail work but I did a little bit of extra work with white liner which I was very excited about I've done this technique a couple of times with white liner where I just kind of dot it around um, the fleshy area like my transition area um, after I apply some shadow and it just looks beautiful especially when you pair it with the right colors and I always get compliments whenever I do this technique and I just felt really inspired to do that same technique but with like pinks and purples just to make it look very flowery and cherry blossomy so i am loving the look i'm loving this lip i'm loving just the whole thing went a little heavy on the blush didn't go too much on the contour or the bronzer because i wanted it to be fresh and i really wanted to focus on the pinks and the blush and I'm really liking it. We've got a good mix here of higher end products and drugstore products, so it's not gonna be all drugstore or all higher end. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Starting off with a freshly washed and moisturized face, I'm going in with my primer. Today I'm going to be using the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. I'm using this primer because I really wanna go for a nice dewy, fresh spring look and having this primer under my foundation just helps really bring out the dewiness. For my foundation, I'm taking two shades of the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, shades 21 and 27. 27 has my perfect undertone, it's nice and golden, but it's way too dark for me. 21 is light enough for me, but it's way too like cool toned. So mixing them together really helps me find my perfect match. And using a BB cream like this, that's still medium coverage, but light and dewy, really just helps lend to the fresh, fresh face look that I'm going for in this look. I am blending this out with a Morphe foundation brush and then smoothing it out with the NYX Perfect Complexion Sponge. For my concealer today, I am taking the Chantecaille Le Camouflage Style Anti-Fatigue Concealer Pen. It's a click pen. I chose this one because it doesn't dry down matte. It's a nice, dewy, not full coverage concealer. It's really more for brightening, which is what I'm going for. I'm not going for a full coverage matte under eye. I still want it to look dewy. I want it to look youthful. I want it to look fresh. For my powder today, I'm taking the Natasha Denona HD Invisible Face Powder. I have the shade Light, and I'm using this to lightly bake under my eyes. The powder is light enough to not weigh down the BB cream that I have on underneath it, so I can bake with it under my eyes. And I'm also going to take a fluffy brush from Sigma, this is the F30, and just brush a little, little bit of this powder around my face. I don't want it to be a matte finish, I just want it to be set enough so that I can blend product on top of it. Taking the Too Faced Natural Face Palette, I'm going to take the bronzer in the top right hand side, Sunny Bunny, or Sunny Honey I believe it's called, and I'm going to use this to lightly bronze my face. I'm only taking this a little bit and very lightly on my cheeks and above onto my forehead. I'm using this just to add a little bit of dimension, but really the focus of the look is going to be the blush and the highlight. For my blush today, I will be mixing both the highlight from the Too Faced Natural Face, the pink sands right there, along with a blush from the Anastasia Blush Kit. This is the shade Spoiled. It's a hot pink right there in the corner. 
mixing those two, I'm applying that liberally to my cheeks. Since I want the blush to really be one of the focal points of the look, I am applying a lot more than I normally would. But if you find that you did overdo the blush a little bit, you can always go in with a stippling brush and blend that out a little bit, just like I am right here. Or if you find that that doesn't help a lot, you could always take your beauty blender or sponge and just powder a little bit of um, powder on top of it and it helps really mellow it out. Taking the shade Starburst from the ABH Sugar Glow Kit and I'm bringing this onto my cheekbones and a little bit onto my forehead. I'm not going to be highlighting my nose or the cupid's bow since this look was already fairly dewy. Next just blending all that in with that same stippling brush. I've primed and set my eyes today using the first shade from the ColourPop My Little Pony palette, that light shade right up there in the top left. My next shade that I'm going in with is actually a ColourPop single. This is the shade 2 to Mango, and I'm bringing this all up into my transition. The next shade I'll be taking is actually from the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette, this nice hot pink right here in the middle row, and I'll be bringing that up into my crease as well. Taking my trusty NYX Glitter Glue, I'm putting this all over the lid along with another ColourPop single. This is the shade Crowlin, and I'm just taking this all over my lid. Now it is time for eyeliners. Today I'm using two eyeliners, both from Kat Von D. First, I'm using her Tattoo Liner in Brown, just to regular line my upper lash line. I'm doing this because I have really hooded eyes, and if I don't define my lash line, my eyes can really look washed out. Next, using the white eyeliner, I'm actually going to just be adding little dots all over my transition area. This is going to give me the beautiful, flowery, wind-blown effect that I'm going for. You don't have to do these in any certain way or style, I just kind of poke them wherever I want. You can do different sizes, you can do different shapes if you want. I'm not very artistic, so I just dot it around, and I really like the way that it comes out. Once again, taking the Electric Obsessions palette from Huda, I'm taking that hot pink shade, and I'm just using this to line my lower lash line. For my mascara today, I'm once again going in with my <laughs> favorite and trusty Chantecaille mascara. And I'm just curling my lashes and adding on the mascara. I'm finishing off this look with a lip stain from YSL. This is actually a beautiful light pink shade. 
and it's one of the most comfortable lip products I've ever worn in my entire life. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything, but the color lasts. I'm actually thinking about picking up a few more colors, even though it is fairly expensive. It honestly is a really great lip product. And that is the final look. Nice and glowy and spring and very, very pink. Very cherry blossom inspired, if I do say so myself. Overall, just very feeling the pink. So that was the tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and if you want to see any more tutorials like this in the future. And I hope you'll subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!